There it is, Melbourne of the Premiers. It is Melbourne victory and the Newcastle Jets make their way out onto Kingston Heath. A final spot beckons, but they must win today. Hello to all our listeners around Victoria, Australia and the world to FFV Radio, footballfedvic.com.au and FFV Radio on the Tune In Radio app. It's the Westfield W League. Teo Pelizzeri, my name. Joined by Cheryl Downs from the women's game, Sean Moran and Anna Harrington, who is alongside me here in the commentary area. Thanks for having me as always, Tao. As we've said in the lead-up, we're really expecting this to be a fantastic game. And Cheryl, as the huddles are about to break up, one more check on the conditions here at Kingston Heath. Yeah, I think the breeze at this point in time has maybe picked up a little bit. It's still heading straight down south along the ground. So at the moment, the way the teams have lined up, it's actually to Newcastle's favour. And that whistle gets us underway. Kelly Jones, the referee. Melbourne heading out to left back. And Gemma Simon back in the team. Here's Nan in the centre of the park. High diagonal ball over to Devanna. Brings it down with a nice touch. And then runs around one defender. Slides a through pass. Catley's through the left side of the area. Quigley waiting at the back post. Catley takes a touch. Crossing the ball through the area. Devanna arrives and hits it on the half volley. Couldn't get over the ball though. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. And the crowd sends their appreciation. Fantastic bit of play there. All starting with who else but Christine Nan. She was fantastic last week. And that cross field ball. Playing it now. 1-2 with Barnes. Over on the right. Up to Devanna in the defensive half. Being guarded very closely there by Reynolds. Devanna turns and gets a little bit of a break. Keeps the ball in on the right and now gets past the challenge of Reynolds and coming in in a big 50-50. Physical stuff there from Davis and the ball's been knocked away. Devanna stays down and she's actually got the hand up here asking that the referee bring an end to things. And so after the two players just uh, were going for the same ball and a genuine 50-50, Sean, it seems as though Lisa Devanna has come off worse for wear and the trainer is actually going to have to come out and give us some attention. Yeah, it was a nasty challenge. Well, it was a nasty incident there. Um, as you said, Taylor, it was a 50-50 ball and, and both. Crawford switching flanks. Victory down to 10 players at the moment. And Davis is moving forward. Reynolds is wide over on the left. Takes a touch and keeps it moving. Andrews back to goal, being guarded by Checker. Lays it off. Reynolds again. Now Salem in the centre. This is nice football by Newcastle. Pass wide over to the right. Yeoman Dale charges it down. Keeps the ball in. Looking at Catley. Plays it to Houston. Five metres from the top of the box. Driving a low ball in. Clearance is shallow. Deflected. Salem with the follow-up. But it's straight at Free Davy, And she had a clean line of sight to the ball and makes a good catch on the chest. Yeah, fortunate there for victory uh, in one sense. It was a, a pretty poor attempt the first time round. And again, a, a really brisk clearance that, that almost um, put victory in a bit of trouble there. But fortunately, Free Davy was able to, to deal with Salem's shot there. Some runs to her. Here's the run of Reynolds. Allowed plenty of space to drift up to the edge of the attacking third. The left back getting nosebleeds here and passes it out wide to the left. Dobson, who appears to have been given a bit of a free range to roam. We saw her wide on the right only a moment ago. Back to Reynolds. Hit on the right foot. You can tell it's the non preferred. It slices away from the target. Houston chasing it back. Wins it off Simon. Two metres from the top of the area. Fancying a long shot here. And it takes a couple of bounces. And Bree Davy again with the ball straight at her is able to make an easy save. Still no certainties to make the top four, but of course both also in pursuit of the top two. And Newcastle could yet emerge as a late contender should results break their way. We'd be remiss not to mention that as well. Here's a high ball from Nielsen into the area looking for Houston and Davy out of her line to collect. Yeah, just saw there before over on our side broadcast wing, a little bit of an example of what we've been talking about. Um, we had the ball over at halfway right near the edge of the pitch. And we see Catley, Master Antonio and Barnes all go in for it. You've got one Newcastle player there. All it takes is for that person to just chip it forward. And then all of a sudden you've got Huster, Dobson, Van Egmond all in that area taking on effectively Gemma Simon and Hannah Brewer if she can get over to Master her. Master Antonio, nice ball. Devanna breaks the back four into the area. It's Devanna on the left foot and it's tipped away by a good save from Southwell. Ball up into the back of the net and quickly has done it again. That's four and four. And Melbourne victory take a 1-0 lead in the 23rd minute. It was a great pass from Ella Mastra Antonio. Devanna with a herring run, broke the back line, and the initial shot was saved by Southwell, but the follow-up put in the back of the net. The Newcastle keeper didn't stand much of a chance with that second-time shot, and Melbourne victory right now on the live table would be playing finals. It's 1-0. And that's why you take the risk. If Lisa Devanna goes down her, you take those few minutes. You might lose possession for a while after that, as we spoken about but she is absolutely electrifying and that run got the home crowd well and truly up and about Rachel Quigley has been fantastic this season and and passes it back to Southwell first time clearance Brewer heads it on halfway 
Now coming in, go challenging Reynolds, and Reynolds just kicks for territory and plays it straight to Reed of the victory into the attacking half once again. Barnes and Nan combining with a 1 2. And Nan now passing it to Quigley, turns and faces over to the left. Devanna, herring through the left side of the area, crosses it through the six yard box. Goat's arriving and it's in! And it's Melbourne 2 0 up, and Beatty Goat off the bench has put Melbourne with one foot in the finals in the 31st minute. It's Melbourne victory two, Newcastle Jets nil. That is absolutely criminal that Lisa Devanna could be given so much space down that flank. She's already been the most potent player on the field and she just got given an absolute paddock. And when you feed the ball out to her out wide like that, you know she's going to dart in. And just fantastic to see there, Beattie Go get her first goal for the year. I thought she was very, very good last week, worked really hard, gave plenty uh, pushing forward, played the full 90 minutes. She's come on as a substitute and that was a very, very classy and composed finish from the youngster. Interesting point as we're approaching half time. Anna Dong from the women's game. She's tweeted that no team has scored more second half goals than the Newcastle Jets. So it certainly sets up an intriguing second half. Oh, and right here they might get a first half goal because Brewers caught in possession and diving at the feet of Van Egmont. Bree Davy saves the day. And it was a loose touch from Hannah Brewer that coughed the ball up to Van Egmont. And Davy, fortunately for Melbourne, was awake to the danger. And those are those moments that the victory really do need to tighten up on. We saw Checker before and Brewer just then. A just an update on Gemma Simon. I had a very quick chat to Kat Smith. It wasn't a collision with anyone. It was actually the ball, and she's got a mild concussion at the moment. Oh, that is a, an interesting injury for Gemma Simon to have picked up. Second half, you heard the whistle in the background, is underway. Newcastle, not necessarily out of the finals mix, but very much having to chase their season here. If the scoreline stays this way, Melbourne Victory is one team they won't be able to catch. It'll only be Canberra or Sydney, who both have perhaps more advantageous runs home. Ball out wide to the right. Go runs onto the ball. Looking up, seeing the challenge of Davis crossing to the top of the area. Quigley, bit of a block challenge. Ball spills free. Devanna pokes it back into the path of Quigley with a volley. Oh, wow! It's a lob goal in Melbourne victory. Start the second half with an absolute special. And Rachel Quigley, just 44 seconds into the second half, has scored one of the goals of the year. And with Quigs, it feels like I'm saying this every second week. Rachel Quigley, you just don't know what you'd put in her top three goals for the season because she just loves scoring ridiculous goals. Just to talk about the lead-up, I thought that was a fantastic run there from Beattie Goad. Just darted her way down the right-hand side, put in a fantastic cross under pressure, and then the one-two between Quigley and Devanna was fantastic. Um, both of them getting the time on the ball, and Rachel Quigley is just so good at finishing under pressure. She doesn't seem to need too much space and time at all to flick the ball into the back of the net, and that was a fantastic volley, and I'm sure her teammates will be hearing about that one for a couple of weeks. If, if victory continue to go on here and, and press for more in the second half, then it puts them in a good position to perhaps cling on to second or, or third as far as the games in hand and some of the favourable results they need in order to avoid the trip to Perth in week one. Newcastle might get one back here because Andrews gets to the ball before Davey shoots from the tight angle wide on the left and it's blocked away by Brewer. And Hannah Brewer comes up with an important stop there after Andrews beat Davey to the ball. And in the first half, it was made mention a couple of times that Brewer had a couple of loose touches, but that was very good defending from her there. She saw that Davey was out of position after coming out of her line. It's a very warm day, and we are going to see those two substitutions utilised in the forthcoming, I guess, half an hour now. But it just remains to be seen um, how quickly uh, Montero makes those attacking substitutions to, to try and maybe get a few more goals to, to the better. The left, crossing into the top of the area. Nan meets it first time and volleys it wide of the left-hand post. And on the half volley, Christine Nan going for the spectacular. Catley's cross into the box was only cleared so far. And I think Cheryl Downs on the sidelines was up and about following that one as it very nearly picked out the top left. Well, at the moment, victory looking the more likely to score a fourth rather than Newcastle there first. Barnes controls the ball in the centre, now playing it to Catley, who's moving forward. Has Goat on the outside, wants to go across the face here, looking for Koja. She'll arrive before the ball goes out at the byline, cuts it back, quickly for the hat-trick! Rachel quickly has her hat-trick, and Melbourne victory lead 4-0. Gulshin Koja gets the assist off the bench, and that one I think you can put down to fitness. Newcastle slowing down. Victory wouldn't give up on the ball. Coach had chased it down before the byline, cut it back and quickly did the rest. And this has to be some of the best football we've seen Melbourne Victory play all year. Up against it, had to perform, and uh, boy have they ever, because as you said, fitness comes into it, it's hot, you really need to just keep running and running, and Guldjian Koja, a very astute substitution, coming in there, worked hard to... Uh, 
put the assist in. And Rachel Quigley, you just can't say anything more about her. She has been sensational. I think she's about to see her time come to an end with Caitlin Friend getting ready to go on. I think every forward has one of those days where every time you cut a run, you just seem to uh, get on the wrong side of the flag. So something she'll learn from, I'm sure, um, this game. But it's happened a few times for Newcastle. A lot of uh, their players have been falling into that offside trap, which I think is largely set by having those two sort of wing backs in Catley and Reed. And just oh. going again is uh, Katie Friend just tries to volley it over. Very cheeky little attempt there. Uh, came through, sorry, Miller, the sub, came through and took it away. Now Van Egmond in the centre of the park. Caught in possession by Barnes. And now Koja to Nan. Koja making a run down the right. Nan cuts in, clever, left-footed shot from a long way out, and that one goes well wide to the right post. And it's just great to have that, I guess, little bit of versatility to choose from in your midfield. Into the last 30 seconds of regulation, Reynolds running into the attacking half. Pass was knocked away by Reed into the path, though, oh. of McIntyre, and Reed comes through with a sliding challenge to take it away from McIntyre, who's been left sore in the Newcastle penalty area. Victory will turn and go. McIntyre's down behind play, but Victory are through. Nan sets through Friend into the area. Here's a chance. Caitlin Friend shooting straight at the goalkeeper and Southwell holds and Bree Davy waving from the other end of the pitch means we're going to have a bit more extras and uh, Cheryl Downs how many minutes of stoppage are we playing at the end of this match? Three minutes of additional time I think and we're just we have a player down so just running down to that end of the pitch. So we've played four minutes of stoppage final whistle can't be too far away. Yeah as I was saying I think Ellie Reid's been very good since she's moved off the wing early on into right back position it's definitely more it natural. Full time, Melbourne Victory will play finals. The title defence will go into the final series. It's just a question of who they play and where they play it. For now, they're second. We expect that they won't stay there, but you just never know. The